we want to find the domain and range of the relation given here as a set of ordered pairs. And then we're asked to determine whether the relation is a function. When we have a relation given as a set of ordered pairs, each ordered pair represents an input and the corresponding output. And therefore, because the domain is a set of all possible inputs, the domain of the given relation will be the set containing all of the first values in the ordered pairs. So the domain will be the set containing 5, 4, 3, and 2. When we give the domain, though, we use these braces, and we should list the values in order from least to greatest. So we'll say the domain is a set containing 2, comma 3, comma 4, and comma 5. And because the range is a set of all possible outputs, the range will be the set containing all of the second values of the ordered pairs. So the range will be the set containing negative 7. And from here, notice how the output values are all negative 7. And therefore, the range is the set containing the one value of negative 7. Notice how we don't list negative 7 four times. And now we'll test to see if the relation is a function. A function is a special relation where a function is a relation in which each input has exactly one output. To help us determine whether this relation is a function, let's show the relation using a mapping where this set will be the domain or the set of all possible inputs. And this will be the range or the set of all possible outputs. So we'll list the values or elements of 2, 3, 4, and 5 in this set, and the value of negative 7 in this set. And now for the ordered pair 5, comma, negative 7, this tells us when the input is 5, the output is negative 7, and therefore we draw an arrow from 5 to negative 7. When the input is 5, the corresponding output is negative 7. For the ordered pair 4, comma, negative 7, when the input is 4, the output is negative 7, so we draw an arrow from 4 to negative 7. For the ordered pair 3, comma, negative 7, we draw an arrow from 3 to negative 7. And for the ordered pair 2, comma, negative 7, we draw an arrow from 2 to negative 7. Notice how it's very clear now that each input has exactly one output. It is true that all the inputs have the same output, but each input does have exactly one output, and therefore the relation is a function. Notice how if the relation was not a function, at least one of the inputs would have to have two arrows pointing to two different outputs. A second way to test to see if a relation is a function is to look at the graph of the relation. So because we have four ordered pairs, we would have four points on the coordinate plane, as we see here, where the inputs are along the horizontal axis, often the x-axis, and the outputs are along the vertical axis, often the y-axis. Graphically, we use what's called a vertical line test to determine whether a relation is a function. The vertical line test states that if a vertical line intersects a graph of a relation more than once, then the relation is not a function. If you were to sketch vertical lines across the graph, notice how they would never intersect the graph in more than one point. They either intersect the graph in zero points or one point if the vertical line passes through one of the four points. So because a vertical line will never intersect this graph more than once, this passes a vertical line test and the relation is a function. So we could say, the graph passes the vertical line test, the relation is a function. I hope you found this helpful.